Hello there lovely people, it's Alex from Nintendo Life here, and today I'm going to give you 50 facts about The Legend of Zelda Breath of the Wild. This video is going to be a little bit rough around the edges because I'm going to try and do it all in one shot with no breaks to basically make it a little bit more fun for you and indeed for me. And it's not just to make it easier to edit, no 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 no. Not like that, no. Also, just sitting down and listing a load of facts, not really that interesting, so this is hopefully gonna spice it up. Are we ready? Okay, three, two, one, go! Okay, now, the first fact. Link will only be playable as a male character. There is no female Link in the game. There's a bum load of items to pick up on the ground, things like apples, the goblin horns, and the like, and basically they're like ingredients and you can do all various things with them. Basically, open world type of stuff. Um, there are loads of different weapons and weapon types, including a skeletal arm, which is like a bokoblin arm, but it's like its skeleton, so it's like a Stalfos Bokoblin or something. I, I'm not sure. I think they mentioned it briefly in the stream, but I wasn't paying too much attention. Anyway, moving on. Koroks are back, of course, Koroks. The wonderful little critters from The Wind Waker. You know, the sort of the little sort of like planty things from the Great Decker Tree. Yeah, they're, they're back. They're cool. I like them. They look exactly the same. That's not a bad thing. Uh, the Wolf Link amiibo spawns Wolf Link in the game. Basically, is kind of like a partner character. He runs around killing things and stuff. That's pretty much it. Um, where are we? Uh, there are loads of opportunities to blow stuff up. Honestly, the whole game is like a, an arsonist's dream. It's wonderful, although that's not really explosions. What would you call? Basically, let's move on. Number seven, weapons degrade over time, so you need to keep finding new ones. Interesting mechanic. Um, temperature affects the gameplay, so you need to change your clothes depending on the climate. That's also quite interesting. So if you go somewhere really cold, you need to wear a padded jumper or shirt or something. Basically, keep yourself warm. Or you can also actually eat like spicy food that makes you warm. It's not how it works in real life. There's a lorry going past. Anyway, moving on to number nine. The big robot gits are called Guardians. That's interesting, I think. Uh, there will be three new amiibo for the game, including Link with a bow, Link on horseback, and a Guardian, which is huge, like it barely fits on its base. Uh, this rock looks a bit dodgy. Um, Link can run around in his pants. That's always fun. There's no voice... No, 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 no. What I mean to say is there is voice acting, but it only appears to be for one of the characters, and it seems to be some sort of mystery character. I'm guessing maybe it's Zelda. We don't know. You only hear it at the start, but for most NPCs, it's just what you'd expect. Where are we? Uh, we are on to number 14. Bombs are spawned by your Sheikah Slate and are infinite. And the Sheikah Slate is kind of like your gamepad thing. We'll probably get onto that. I'm pretty sure I've written this down. Yep. The Sheikah Slate is kind of a Wii U gamepad. Zelda Wii U gamepad type thing. There's a sort of an overtone of technology in this game. It's quite interesting. Okay, moving on. Um, everything we've seen so far is on the Wii U, so the NX version, as far as we know, is going to be even pretty to your run even better we think we don't know we don't know what the nx is but uh if it's just like another powerful console if it's more powerful than the wii u which we hope it is it'll be better on that um the guardian amiibo will have flexible arms and it's the first time that that's happened in amiibo so that's pretty cool um this thing is proper open world like proper bethesda levels <laughs> bethesda levels of open world I'm running out of breath, right. Um, you won't find hearts in grass, instead you heal yourself with food that you cook, which um, I get onto now. Number 20, you can cook food for more delightful deliciousness, so that's good. The Coplins and Keys are back again, and it's about time to, and this time they're in the mood. The art style is inspired by anime, who knew? Um, Link can surf on his shield like Legolas going down on his shield and probably shooting his bow and stuff like that, we assume. Uh, Ganon is canon, he's in the game, he's the final boss, we think. Um, the stamina gauge is back, and this time, it means business. Uh, you can climb sheer rock faces because you're the goddess damned hero of time. Um, cubic bombs are a thing. Like, they don't roll. Well, they do a bit because they're cubes. But uh, that's pretty cool, you know, sort of this. So they stay flat so you don't have to worry about them rolling all over, all over the place. Also, normal spherical bombs are still in there, so that is pretty cool. Uh, you can disturb bees to attack enemies. Because you can. Uh, moving on, number 29. The Coblins occupy camps and are very flammable. Number 30, the sailcloth slash, slash deku leaf returns in, a, in the form of the paraglider. So it's kind of like, it's got like wooden structure and he uses, it, he uses up your stamina gauge. Don't know how that works, but that's how it does. Probably stop you from just gliding everywhere, which is almost a shame. Anyway, uh, boulders can be moved down, can be pushed downhill. I tell a lie, they can be pushed and moved and they can be rolled downhill to crush any unsuspecting foes below if you're that way inclined. Uh, there is a magnet rune which allows you to manipulate a load of metal objects. That's using the Sheikah rune again, which is kind of like my iPad here. Um, and I've now I've lost my place. <laughs> Um, bow aiming is controlled using the gamepad's motion, contri motion controls, so think, you know, sort of Splatoon aiming, so that's pretty cool, I do like that feature. I do hope you can sort of move around and aim at the same time. I haven't seen that yet, or I may have done and just not noticed. Anyway, uh, Link can now jump whenever you like. You can just tell him to jump, 
It's incredible. Well, maybe not incredible. Anyway, uh, Link's shivering animation is adorable. Seriously, you need to see it. If I can find it, if I can source it, I'll put it there. Um, where are we now? The Master Sword is rusted for some reason, so uh, I'm guessing this takes place in the future. We don't know. I'm thinking, I'm thinking personally, post Wind Waker, but we don't know for sure. The old man from the, the old man from the original NES game is the first NPC you see. And as far as we know, he does not say, it's dangerous to go alone, take this, which is a disappointment. But we haven't seen that much of the game. Anyway, you can chop down trees to make bridges or get wood, and that applies to pretty much any tree as far as we know. Um, you can set most things on fire, which is tremendous, like the ground is flammable, which is just brilliant. If you want to set fire to something, you can do it. That happened a lot with uh, Trintran. Good old Trintran. I can't remember his full name because I'm under a lot of stress at the moment. Anyway, hunting wild animals gets you meat. Link is right-handed and we don't know why. Link has been sleeping sleeping for a hundred years before the start of the game, so we can assume his... his with, <laughs> that was a joke I put in here. I'm going to start that again. Hopefully, you won't notice. Link has been sleeping for a hundred years before the start of the game, so we can assume his back is killing him. Ha 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 ha! That was definitely worth repeating. Guardians are really tough. We're talking BMOS on whey protein and steroid milkshakes. Everything is really pretty, but then again, you probably know that just from watching the streams. It really helps if you watch the HD stuff that's out there, which there isn't much of, but the streams really don't do it justice because it's like 360p or 480. You can mine for ores, which we're sure are worth a lot of rupees, and you can find things like sapphires and chests and things like that. Speaking of which, we've yet to see any rupees in the game, but we're sure they're in there. Um, according to Miyamoto, you can take on Ganon in the nude. What a time to be alive. 48, you can enter shrines to acquire spirit orbs to gain new runes, which are basically abilities in the game. We think they're basically overtaking the sort of items, the traditional items that you would get, but we don't know that for sure. We're just gonna have to wait and see. The gamepad isn't necessary. You can play the whole thing with a Wii U Pro controller. I need to say a Wii U gamepad. And finally, ducks. Ducks are in the game. Oh, wow. Well, there's 50 facts about The Legend of Zelda. Breath of the Wild. I had fun, I hope you did too, but of course we have missed things out because we've only done 50 facts and there are innumerous facts, so let us know any facts that you noticed down there in the comments. Thank you so much for watching. If you like this video, then why don't you write 50 interesting facts about that subscribe button and be sure to check out nintendolife.com for all sorts of lovely Nintendo-related content. Thank you again for watching. Bye-bye. <laughs>